So I've challenged the assumption that public cloud is always the cheapest option. In my experience, the cloud true costs, data egress, over provisioning and operational surprises uh, often catch enterprises off guard. Um, made that case many years ago, even when people were just moving into cloud or looking at the uh, agreements in, in general and how egress and uh, ingress and egress fees are moving information in the cloud and out of the cloud, your information is going to be burdensome in terms of the cost that goes upon these enterprises out there. And in many cases, uh, enterprises didn't realize that these hidden costs were there. They didn't have FinOps programs in place. They weren't doing a lot of cost governance around cloud computing until they got their bill. And so I was getting a lot of enterprises calling me up and they say, well, we, we thought we'd be paying $10,000 a month, but the cloud services are able to buy, you know, evidently it costs us $100,000 a month. How did that happen? Well, you look at the bill, it's the fine print. In other words, they're pushing information into the cloud, pulling information out of the cloud, and the cloud's kind of gouging them for the fees in doing that. And so exposing that I thought was a good idea. Uh, all hell broke loose when I did that, as far as people pointing the finger at me as uh, you know, raising undue concern about something that uh, what they didn't feel should have been a concern. Reality is the cloud provider said, well, they should have read the agreement. The enterprises said, and quite truthfully, that it's very confusing, not necessarily understand it. In many cases, the agreements were written in very ambiguous ways. And so the hidden costs were there. They didn't see them coming. I wrote about it, got some pushback.